Good morning. Hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday, Tuesday. What a glorious day it is today. We have so many of our friends in here that I'm so happy to see. Today is such a special day because we're going to have some special people that are coming in here that are close to my heart. And uh, I think it's going to be fabulous. So what we're going to do, unfortunately, my chat has stopped a little bit. There we go. Vineyard Chicks is saying hey to everybody. Vineyard Chicks Homestead is coming in and showing out. And Jennifer Ocean Homestead, <clears throat> she's busy today. Good morning, Butler Family Farm and Thunderstick Homestead. Bowen, I'm so glad that you're here. I know that those prayers worked and that you're in recovery and we appreciate you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Deborah Rus Rusignolo. <laughs> I love it. Butler Family Farm. I'm gonna hug your neck in just a couple of days. Got a prize coming for you, honey. Prayer Mountain Homestead, Mary's Fiber Creations, Cynthia Delot from the Netherlands. I'm so glad she's here. Rebecca Touched by Yarn. Hey, darling. Hey, Karma. And Thrifty Endeavors and Adventures. Oh, my girls, the chickadees are here. Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. I appreciate you being here from Facebook. That's wonderful. Diana. Hey, cutie patootie. Good morning, Anne Francisco. And Kim Mill. Kim's supposed to have company this morning. She's popping in to say how do. Hey, Nikki, the everyday life of an OCDS chick. And Kayla, you sweet girl. I hope those animals and... Larry and everybody over at Judy's house at Sneed's Farmhouse Sanctuary are good this morning. Good morning, Wendy Thomas. Hey, I voted, but it didn't take. Oh, uh, well, I do have a poll. Hey, Great Jams and Linda and, and Psalm 146. I do have a poll up there of uh, asking people a question. Thank you, Diane. Hey, my Renaissance grandma. Okay, everybody. It is 11.02. We got a lot to talk about today, but I did want to, I'm going to miss a little bit of chat. I see you, Grace and Fire, and Lazy Days Ahead, our mod father and mod mother in there. Mod mother, that sounds weird, but. <laughs> On Tuesdays, because I do have some new friends, and you've all heard this spiel before, hey, Melody, that uh, we get to choose our attitude of the day. Believe it or not, you can walk around and go, well, they made me mad. I just couldn't help it. They made me mad. Well, nobody can make you mad. No one can do those types of things or make you behave in any way, shape, or form. It's up to you. It's up to you to decide how you are going to react to any particular situation. But today, I wanted to concentrate on certain things. And I wanted to concentrate on a joyful noise. Now, joyful noise can mean many things. Noise has a connotation of being an irritant, but having a joyful noise, that is something that envelops your spirit, that heals your heart. We can all hear a song from decades ago and flash right back into those happy memories or sad. Or you can remember a relationship that you once had or um, all types of things. And so I wanted to share a little something that I read. And then we're going to bring some guests up. A joyful noise. I'm going to concentrate on the noise that is in my mind and in my heart, because we all have it every day. We have a lot of noise going on. But that noise is joyful. And I'm going to block out all the things that are not. So these are some things that I read about, and I wanted to share a little something, something, because it makes my heart feel good. When I do this, it, the Lord just sort of takes over and says, okay, Ann, this is what you're doing. <laughs> and I'm going, okay, all right, that sounds good. That sounds good. So it goes like this. 
You know what music is? God's little reminder that there's something else besides us in this universe. Harmonic connection between all living beings everywhere, even the stars. Music speaks what cannot be expressed, soothes the mind and gives it rest, heals the heart and makes it whole, flows from heaven straight to the soul. Music is a piece of art that goes in the ears and straight to the heart. Because music says things that words simply can't. Some days I need the music, and some days I need the lyrics. <laughs> so that's my message today of being able to know that music transcends all barriers, all languages. The music and words, even if you can't understand the words in another language, it can still touch your heart can still bring us peace and joy and we can decide what kind of joyful noise we want in our mind. Hey everybody, let me say real quick, great jams and oh, thank you, thank you, great jams. She says uh, it, it just it makes me cry every time, every time. Not for nothing homestead. Um hey Gingy. Yeah, Nikki from the Everyday Life of an OCD is Chick. I'm so glad to see you. Victoria, let's see what we have. Miss T with the T. I do, sweetheart. I know that you're in Savannah right now. Unbiased. Hello, Queen. Glad to see you. Though instead, I hope to see you this week. Now, let's get to our guest. <laughs> These young ladies are someone it, it's very difficult to describe them because in fact let me tell you i'll share with you the way that i described them to my husband because he's not he's not a youtube person he's not a facebook person he goes with his friends only that he actually really knows and has touched in person but he hasn't made relationships over the internet like we have and i said these girls are bright and smart and active and they've had wonderful parenting honestly it's in the genes because no matter how good a parent you are your kids got to be have a good heart to be able to we can guide them as much as we can but they are who they are and i said that um they remind me of someone that when i grow up i'd like to be <laughs> so Let's bring up KK, Trey, and Bunky. Hi, darlings. And you're muted, sweetheart. You're muted. There we go. Hello. Oh, girl. Hi. Yay. I can't tell you how thrilled I am that you guys have honored me by coming on my Tuesday, Tuesday. Well, thank you for having us. We really appreciate the opportunity to be here. That's awesome. Yeah, it was really exciting. <laughs> now, first <laughs> off. We have KK up here with VC. What does VC stand for? Uh, Vineyardix. I forgot to change the name. That's <laughs> sorry. Okay. That's great. Now, you girls have several channels. I want everyone, and I'm going to put them all in the description after this is over. But I did want you to share with me uh, some names of the channels that you have. And you have Vineyard Chicks Homestead. And joyful, and joyful noise and notes, joyful noise and notes, which is and, where the subject came from for the lesson today of joyful <laughs> noise. And, and we have the Vineyard Chicks channel. Those are the three main channels we're together on. Yeah. Vineyard Chicks. Okay. Vineyard Chicks Homestead. That's at, just as Y'all are amazing being able to look. I'm trying as one person to work on several different platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and I can't keep up. <laughs> and you all have multitude of channels and are still keeping up. 
Now, what is, we're going to talk about, let's talk about joyful noise and ministries first. All right. So what, tell me what that channel is about. That channel for us is a platform that we use to praise God and have a community where we can worship together. And we've been using that to re try to reach people in need and just celebrate the fact that we can be here and worship. That's so awesome. And you do a beautiful job as well. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> now, KK, tell me everybody's name. I know your names, but if you will share and then we'll go down the line in the sisters. Well, I'm KK. This is Trey and that's Bunky. Bunky. <laughs> Bunky's everybody's baby on the internet that mm -hmm. we all love oh, and yeah. adore. <laughs> she would be, you would all be my grandchildren, but uh, yeah, so. <laughs> It's wonderful that uh, everybody has such spunk, and Bunky sort of shows her spunk a little bit. And, uh, yep, it's Bunky, <laughs> yeah, which is amazing. So, on Joyful Noise, when do you come on? What do you have a schedule? Because I don't really have a set time that I put out videos. I do have Tuesdays at eleven o'clock that I come live every week, but. I don't have a particular schedule. Do you have a particular schedule that you come out live on Joyful Noise? Um, on Joyful Noise and Notes, we go live uh, every Sunday morning at 1030 Eastern Time. Eastern Time. Um, and so we go live there every, every Sunday. And we do that right before our friend Dig Deeper Ministries so that we can kind of, you know, sing our praise and do our prayer. And then we can head over and listen to his teaching. So they kind of go hand in hand. That's so wonderful. Um, as far as putting up videos on there, we don't exactly have a schedule on that. We used to try to do Wednesdays. <laughs> well, I'm not sure how much. Yeah, I got you. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough because when I get one done, I, I, I'm supposed to wait. You know, I, I may put out one every day for three or four days and then not have another one for a week just because I'm too anxious to space them out. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I really am not. So, girls, you have some opportunities that are coming up with Joyful Noise and Ministries. We do. That I'm so excited for you. And could you tell me a little bit about what's going on? Well, we can tell you a bit about some of them. Um, we Just are some. going. Yep, we are going to be playing in some. We're going to be playing at some places um, pretty soon, where we're going to be like going to churches in different places. Wow. play music in person which is really exciting um that is have you done that before uh we did it a, a little, little bit last year i think we had what three or four two for joyful noise and notes a I lot like yeah a lot, for joyful like... noise and notes and then a few for vineyard chicks um where we actually played in person but we only have done it like a handful of times so okay it's, 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 it's like, nerve-wracking <laughs> yeah it, it's exciting and a little bit nerve-wracking to go and do it but I'm sure well, you're going to need a trailer that has joyful noise and ministries yeah. on the back of it to be able to pack up all your equipment and set everything up so it won't be yeah. things. Oh, gosh, I forgot that microphone. That would be my luck of dropping something. You did that. Oh, did you? <laughs> I did have to run home and look for it. I yeah, totally I understand. Forgot a few oh, things. Oh God! Drumsticks, drums, chairs, and yeah, we ended up starting a half hour late. <laughs> well, hey, I'm I'm about sixty seconds late usually in there somewhere most of the time for social <laughs> events, but uh, not here. Or usually on Tuesday, Tuesdays, I'm usually pretty much on time. And so uh, you have made a single, you have made a song or, or did you write it? Did you, how did you, what is, what's the deal? So my that? survival song was actually, survival. <laughs> not my survival, my salvation <laughs> song um, was actually a song written by Mr. Charles uh, from Bushcraft family. Wow. That it's his story and he sent it to us and then so oh, I took man. it and I altered it so that the verses in the chorus would rhyme and that there was like a rhyme scheme and pattern for the song. And then she took it and she made a melody and then we all got together and we started playing it. I believe and, I did the guitar on it. Yep. Yep. And oh. we got it all together the day we got the story. The afternoon. 
the day of oh my gosh well you gotta strike while the iron's hot in your ideas right when you yep. get inspired you better take advantage of it oh yeah so trey what instruments do you play honey okay so currently i play percussion i play drum set i, I do the drum set i play cajon and i play spoons mm -hmm. And in the okay. past, I've dabbled in a lot of different instruments <laughs> that I didn't that I didn't quite stick with. Well, um, you know, I, 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 I actually tried play. piano. I tried guitar, guitar violin, recorder, clarinet. Bass. There's bass. There's a lot of them. But when I first started doing percussion, then it kind of it just kind of felt like something that I really enjoyed doing, and that's something that I had been I really wanted to do, and then I wanted to practice because I don't know, it just felt right. That's so awesome. Well, Jesse from Lazy Days Ahead has put the link to my survival song uh, where it can be heard on YouTube music in the YouTube side of things of the channel. And uh, I, I didn't want to skip that because I want to make sure people can find it and know that it is downloaded, loadable. Is that right? Yep. yep. You um, can stream it on any platforms that you listen to music on. So like Spotify, uh, Apple Music, etc. And what do they look for? to be able to look it up. Uh, I think you just searched my salvation song. You might have to put in joyful noise and notes. For it okay. Came up. That big, yeah. yeah. When I looked for it, I just typed in joyful noise and notes and it came up. So I don't know. Okay. Yeah, joyful, because Joyful noise and notes was just started. Right. So it takes a while to find it. Uh, sure. Sure. Well, I mean, it's like a new channel on YouTube. You have right. to type in the name and the subject usually to be able yeah. to find the channel and so right. i wanted to make sure joyful noise and notes and my survival song is what they can search for and so um kk what instruments do you play honey uh piano and bass guitar um i, you, I can't do both so it's usually just piano <laughs> and a beautiful job you do okay. and little miss bonky you're back in there. I see you strumming that guitar, having yourself a big time. What, what instruments do you play, honey? Well, I play guitar, melodica, and... Kazoo. Melodica? What is that? Kazoo. Kazoo. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I'm like, okay. Well, no, oh, no, a melodica no, is melodica, different. A melodica is different. It's like a keyboard, but it sounds like a harmonica. So if you're playing a G, it, you will play a G, by pressing the key, but you blow into a pipe and it sounds like a harmonica. Wow. She's gonna go show you one sec. So it's basically like a piano and a har harmonica had a baby. <laughs> like a piano and a harmonica had a baby. <laughs> Pretty much. She actually played this instrument last night during Piano Man. Oh, uh, it's gosh. a really cool instrument. Play it. I don't know if it'll work over stream. Oh, I'm it's really real. loud, so she had to sit down and you can see her just so that the mic can okay. pick it up, right? Here we go. We gotta have good. Yes, it sounds cool. Oh, that is awesome. I don't think I've ever heard of that. You're so multi talented, all of you, as far as anything that I mention, you go, Oh, yeah, mom does that. Oh, yeah, dad does that. And oh, yeah, <laughs> we know how to do that. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's, that's just amazing. All right, so we're getting down in the time. It's 1118, but I did want to talk about as far as on Sunday mornings at 1030 Eastern time, because I'm in Eastern time. That's And so Central time would be 930. Yep. And then more and more and more you know it's like each yeah. hour as you go closer to the west coast and where is your farm located just the state what state are you in uh, we're, we're we're in michigan in michigan so yeah. it's still cold outside oh yeah oh it's rainy right now but it is definitely cold well it just oh. rain brings flowers yep we're getting well, those April showers <laughs> Yep, April shower. We don't need to shower. We are, oh gosh, I, I bet. You know that old saying, you smell like a goat? <laughs> now I understand. Now well, I understand. Like goat. <laughs> You've got a little yeah, baby goat. In, do you still have it in the house? Yeah, yeah she's, she's actually napping. sitting right here napping. 
Oh, don't she wake her up. The, the dogs are in the house right now. Well, actually, the dog's outside right now. That's okay. That's all right. Oh, my gosh. And Bailey. My cutie patootie. And Bailey says, oh, man, you woke me up. <laughs> so that leads us into the homesteading section. Yeah, hit that like. Your mama, this is your mama. She says, please hit that like button for great James. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Mama Jams is what people call her, which is wonderful. Yes. And Cindy, um, and Nanny Jam is saying hi, but I wanted to get Cindy's comment up there from Facebook. Your wonderful young ladies. Blessings to the three. Oh, thank you. Which is fair. And they are wonderful young ladies. I mean, I, I told I said, I hope that occasionally you misbehave just once in a, not anything big, just something that makes you, because in my eyes, you're perfect and that's yeah, not really healthy. <laughs> so yeah. I want you to have a little mischievous, mischievous side occasionally. Okay. No, we do. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> just do something for me. Just say, hey, you know. <laughs> I'm normal, okay? I, we I'm, had a I'm, lot of fun on April Fool's Day yesterday. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> Trey and I were having a contest in this one with our judge. How oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. So, oh, good. I'm glad you subscribed. It, it all adds up, said that uh, the girls are adorable, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to have people come over. And, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> here's Mama speaking up. Oh, 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 they do, Miss Ann. Just, just ask Jesse and Lisa. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, it's normal, and that makes me feel better that you've got a good <laughs> mixture in there because, uh, I, I just, I feel better about having normal kids around. That's awesome. Yeah. So um, I'm getting ready to bring and invite some friends of yours that will come up that we can talk about your homesteading side. But before I do, I wanted to share your homesteading channel is what? Vineyard Tricks Homestead. And um, I kind of run that channel. Uh, awesome. And that's where we talk about our homestead. And it's all, actually also where we go live every Monday for the music, just because that's where we were doing it. We yeah. might eventually end up moving that to Vineyard Chicks, because that's the band page. But right now, it's still on Vineyard Chicks Homestead. Um, but okay, that's so where we talk have... about... Yep, that's I'm where we stuck. talk about... Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's, that's where, where you talk we about. talk about our, our garden and our animals and the Survival Seeds 2024 collaboration and everything that we're doing on our homestead. Okay, that's awesome. So you have Vineyard Chicks Homestead, Vineyard Chicks, mm -hmm. and Joyful Noise and Ministries. Correct? Joyful Noise and Notes. Yep. Joyful Noise and Notes. I don't know why I got that <laughs> um, other word in there, but that's okay. Joyful Noise and Notes. So J N A N. Yep. Yep. J N A N. Joyful Noise and Notes. Okay, good. So, um, we you have started on Vineyard Chicks because I keep wanting to say the, but it's Vineyard Chicks Homestead, a survival needs 2024 challenge, right? Yeah, that's going that's great. Awesome. Well, let's bring our buddies Jesse and Lisa from Lazy Days Ahead up here. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Oh, wait, good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> He teases me so terribly on that. I'm very self-conscious now. <laughs> you know, imitation is the greatest form of flattery, right? That's exactly right. And I still say it anyway, so it's all good. It's all and good. Speaking of joyful noise and notes, we can tell you about some no noise that's not so joyful. Okay. We won't, we won't go there. Okay, good, 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 good. Because, I mean, I may come off as sweet and kind and perfect all the time as well and i ain't i promise you i am not perfect not one little bit and please don't talk to me before i've had a cup of coffee because i'm really <laughs> not very nice so jesse and lisa are joining us because they're good friends of you and your family as well and i wanted us all to be super comfortable talking about the survival seeds 2024 now um Girls, you're, oh, I, I wanted to know 
why in the world you even came up with this idea? Why did you come up with this idea? Okay, I'll answer that in a second. Bunky has a guitar lesson in like 15 six minutes. minutes. Six, six, oh, minutes. six minutes. My bad. And oh, so God. He, he's got to run. Oh, sweetheart. Bunky, thank you for being here, honey. Yeah. Good luck I love your lesson. hat that you wear. Make thank sure you. Take care of the camera. Bunch, yeah. of, the hug. Bunch of the hugs. <laughs> I love the way you sisters look after each other. It's so sweet. And sometimes I'm sure it would get on each other's nerves, but you know. Okay. <laughs> We're very good at doing that. No. <laughs> Typical sisters. Of course yeah. not. Typical sisters. <laughs> Which is fun. All right. So how did you, I mean, we have all had those thoughts and especially this year when GMO seeds have begun to be sold to the normal backyard gardener. But um, what inspired you, girls, to come up with this collaboration? Uh, so the the idea originally sparked from that that thought with how like everything's kind of going downhill or uphill, really, when we're talking prices. <laughs> right. Um, when it, it comes is. to buying things at the store, and always we buy our seeds. Every year we buy our seeds. Uh, from the store to plant our garden and we grow over a ton of food wow. and I don't just mean like a ton I mean like the measurement a ton <laughs> um, that's crazy that's so awesome <laughs> <laughs> and um we we had this worry that if we can't because like even now you can struggle to get seeds and you can get seeds that don't actually work and then what do you do right. you've got to get more seeds uh, and then yeah, there's that, that worry that what if the economy gets so bad that you can't buy seeds or you can't buy enough seeds to start your garden, then you're not self-sufficient at all. So right. we thought it would be a good idea to select some seeds that had all of these benefits that you could survive on them and that they were really beneficial, that we would take them off and put them in their own area um, all by themselves so that nothing cross-pollinates and then you can save those seeds. Because if you take it in your garden where you're growing jalapenos and bell peppers and try to save those seeds, the next year you could get spicy bell peppers. Right. Or sweet jalapenos. And yes. no one really wants that. <laughs> no. Um, so, we, so we thought that would be a really, really cool idea. And we wanted to share it with our family and our friends. So we shared the idea to Mr. Jesse and Miss Lisa and Mr. Charles at Bushcraft Family. Yes. And... Uh, they help, They came on board, and they're they're the co-partners in it now. And Mr. Bushcraft actually has the um, herbal side of the collaboration, or yes. he's growing herbs to make tinctures, which is really cool. <laughs> oh, God bless you. A little bit more. bless you. She knows a little bit more about that because she did um, herbs. Um, but it, I'm excited to see how that works. Yes. And then Mr. Jesse and Miss Lisa are running the giveaway which is really cool and doing so well and when we first started it you probably heard mr jesse tease me about it uh yes. i thought like a few people maybe a dozen people would want to join in and try and um be part of this collaboration and now we have like over 40 entry videos 70, 70. Is it true? Sure, there's so i don't many. know that I, there are, i've been looking at so many numbers recently <laughs> there's over 70 okay a lot, entry over video 70. Yeah, well, I heard there, Jesse, how many videos com completely are in there? Because he's keeping up with the videos. He's got this really cool statistics table. Yeah, yeah we, uh, really cool. yeah, we've been going with since, Fe well, some, there's a few from January, but we don't even count those. I mean, they're counted in, but they're, we're starting actually from February where everybody really got hot and heavy. And uh, to, to date, right now, we have a total of 149 videos submitted <laughs> for Survival Seeds 2024. Yeah, that includes, now. It includes, yeah, it includes updates and things like that, right? Yeah, it, yes. yeah it includes, that's everything. 69 of which are entry videos alone. But they've probably <laughs> sent seeds to probably 100 folks. Not, not everybody oh, yes. has put in their videos. So uh, 100, 100 sets of six, if you, if you look at it that way, that's what, 600? That's really 600 much. packets of seeds that have sent out to, to people who they thought only going to be a dozen. Now, who we, does that? We got 20 to be saved. <laughs> we got 20 <laughs> sets of seeds. 
20 so, you were prepared for 20 right well so, girl, yeah it's a girl I, I just, I, we were we were over we're overjoyed at what we've been watching and seeing oh through, through the videos that have been yeah. put out it's just amazing the, the 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 ideas and some of the and, and here's the thing what works for us may not work for somebody in Michigan or some something that works Absolutely. in Michigan may not work in Texas. So when you get all these people from your area that are doing things, oh yeah, we can do that. We're we're same zone. We can do that. It helps. Trust me, the Survival Seas 2024 is helping a lot of people. That it does. It, and and um I've learned a lot from the videos and things like that. Now, you girls, uh, your family picked out six different types of seeds to be able to send out. So the, the first question I wanted to ask, because, you know, my brain is a little squirrely. Um, no. <laughs> and, and Jesse is like shocked, right? No, mm -hmm. stop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, um, okay, it squirreled again. But the different type, uh, is it too late to join in? Nope. Okay. Nope. nope. We'd be glad to send you seeds as late as October because that's when the giveaway or that's when the end of the collaboration is. But we would definitely but recommend you, you start sooner. Yeah, because then you're just yeah. gonna have like itty bitty plants by the end of the by the end of the collaboration. That's right. Okay. And so there's no cost to the people. Anyone can join, and you are. It is not too late. The thing that I really liked about it because. I kind of stress a little bit on collaborations, which is dumb of me. It's all me. It's all my fault. But if there, when I really want it to be really good for other people, sometimes when I'm making the videos, I get a little freaked out. I freak myself out because I want to make sure I get all the proper information in there on the right day, say all the good stuff, shouting out all the right channels, all those kinds of things. But it's all self-inflicted. What I love for this thing is you only have to make an entry video like, hey, y'all, I got my seeds. <laughs> I got my six kinds of seeds. And then these, these are the only requirements. And then in October or whenever you harvest, mm -hmm. because I'll be harvesting before October in North Carolina. And uh, so... Uh, Sometime when I'm finished with whatever I have grown, put a little video out of saying, hey, here's my kidney beans and here's my Waltham squash and here's my tomatoes and, and this is what I did with them, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And it's just the end. So you're only asking for two, really. And the seeds are free, right? You're sending them out? Yep. Yep. And how do people get in touch with you? Uh, just email. Yeah, you can just send us an email at vineyardchicks at gmail. Okay, that was a little fast. Vineyard oh, sorry. Chick Vineyardchicks uh, at gmail.com. Okay, just because I'm a North Carolina gal and I'm used to it. <laughs> I had a company the other day write me back and say, Ann, your video is really good, but could you speak a little bit faster? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm from North Carolina, girl. I don't speak fast, I'm afraid. So that's okay. <laughs> So the one of the really cool things about joining in is that you have had some help with Bushcraft Family, which I'm sorry I don't have him on here. He also has an herb side of this challenge, yes. which I'm very interested in the herbs right now because of arthritis in my hands and various things. And there's a lot of herbs that can help our bodies heal naturally. And I just recently went to my rheumatologist and they're discontinuing to pay for or allow the insurance company to pay for the medication that had been helping me. And I only had Sorry, like... Sorry, Bunky needs KK. Okay, that's okay. I only had like three days warning that, you know, appreciate you, Ann, but you ain't getting this medicine anymore. So I had to turn... I, yes, there will be other pharmaceutical things, but they may not work. And in the meantime, if I can use God's blessings and use his herb and learn how to preserve it and utilize it, because it's one thing to grow it. It's a whole other world to know how to keep it right, and right. how to utilize it. You know, it's a 
growing up in a garden, if we didn't eat it right then, then it went to waste. And now, right. you know, we can save all those kinds of things. So the herb side is awesome. But it is. The prize side has gone insane. It has. It really has. <laughs> And Jesse and Lisa are in charge of that. So Jesse and Lisa, anybody that wants to donate towards a prize of the grand prize in October, please email Jesse and Lisa at Lazy Days Ahead. 1031. Lazy Days Ahead. 1031 at gmail.com. <laughs> and uh or Miss I am not. I am not. I'm saying in my radio no. voice. <laughs> there we go. And Jesse has put his email in. Where can we get the herb seeds, Diana says? So I put the link in the chat right above mine. It's, you'll see Bushcraft's family, his, his email there if you don't have. And here's the other thing. If you do have the seeds that are mentioned, you don't have to wait to, to receive seeds. You can get, join the collaborations if you already have the seeds. That's even yeah, better. You can use your own. Same with the herbs. So, uh, but if you need, if you're in desperate need of, of uh, seeds, contact Bushcraft Family. Uh, his, his link is right above. I just stuck it in there. But can uh, you highlight that? I, I sure can. Uh, if you would, please. And I'm sorry I have missed your chat of, of talking with everybody. It's wonderful to have. We have 62 people in here and 24 likes. Y'all need to hit that like button. There's right, bushcraft. Smash that thumb. That's right. That's right. Just like that. Oh, there show, you go. I show for you. <laughs> awesome. Thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, I haven't refreshed. So, oh, and some people are hitting it right now. Yeah. Okay. So, Jesse, you have you and Lisa. For one thing, Lisa's the brains behind this brawn. I can tell you, she is. She keeps the notes. She she does. <laughs> she is the shipping department. I can tell you, this woman is the organizer. If you want someone to be able to help you with other people's addresses or how to ship, where to ship, what way to ship, Lisa is your gal. Now, Jesse. She's my shipping pirate. She is. Uh, well, is the because, because we use the pirate shipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse is the creative one in his brain to me, and I'm just sharing, okay, is a little more abstract yet compartmental, meaning he thinks of all these various categories and how to utilize those categories in an abstract way of all these different wheels and comment pickers <laughs> and all these kinds of things. I mean, how many wheels do you have? Have you made now for prizes? Uh, There's well, the new. Several, I mean, since I've been doing it, probably several different channels uh, too. Yeah, so. probably over a dozen different okay. wheels. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. What I mean is, on this collaboration, when this I collaboration see, is, we oh. have we have two main we have two main wheels, but one of them is used for two purposes. One of them is used for the entry videos, because we choose the entry videos as the videos that we're going to select for selecting a comment when we do the comment picker. So those vi those videos are the ones we're using. Because uh, if we used every video, we got 149 <laughs> videos. Can you imagine how big that wheel would be? That's just nuts. It would, it, would, cool. it would take it would take the whole probably take the whole uh, live just for it to get around once. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. <laughs> so. All right. So yes, these giveaways, and then we'll talk about the categories. We're gonna have one main giveaway in October when it ended, right? Yeah, it'll be the final celebration giveaway that we we have in October nineteenth on our channel. <laughs> Uh, on Lazy Days Ahead. Lazy Days Ahead on October 19th. It's going to be a big one. And I want to yeah. say it's around 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock Central. I, I have to read. Have to, no, we look. <laughs> Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Okay. I, I and so far, the, the money value that you have, not that it matters because it doesn't matter if somebody's given, you know, something from their, that they've handmade and you can't really value that. Um, it's so more far. because we've had two, 
three more people since um, Sunday night email oh. us wanting to give away things. Oh, wow. yeah. Yes, we have three more yeah. contributors, if you will. Oh. Y'all so, get ready for about a six hour live. I'm telling you, this is going to be. Yeah. It's going to be what, but you win all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, like and, super cool stuff. And I also wanted to um, thank you. You got the, um, I don't know, Amirla. How to, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you got Amirla. the bench and the tool set. And that's, you've been doing a lot of awesome things for the giveaway too. So thank you. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Amirla bench and the Gaker um, electric lighter. Mm -hmm. Both of those are companies that I have worked with in the past. And um, they were more than thrilled. <laughs> To be able to help and so i just thought that it was fabulous well, thank you we really yeah. appreciate that but but let me let me say this we would not have that stuff if, if it wasn't for people like miss ann mm -hmm. because if miss ann called you and asked you for something would you say no how can you say <laughs> no to that voice nope. you can't. people do <laughs> <laughs> It's no. been done. It's been done, Jesse. Yeah. It's been done. <laughs> All right. So on October 19th, did you say? Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, 4 p.m. Okay. So, on Central? Jesse and Lisa's Central. channel. Central. Okay. At Central. 4 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern. No. In the meantime. 5 p.m. Eastern. It'll be 5 p.m. Correct. 5 Eastern. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I got to do it to him too all the time. correct me all the time. I always move up, but I didn't, you know, anyway, doesn't matter. Oh, good. And uh, Rita says she got her hoodie, which is Yay. so good. Perfect. Okay. And I'd be happy to win a pack of seeds. It's free. Who doesn't love seeds? That's right, Jennifer Ocean Homestead. Yep. Good morning, everybody. I, I'm sorry I'm missing your name specifically, but um, this is a lot of information we need to get out there really soon. And so that has grown tremendously as far as the uh, end result and will continue to, I'm sure, the closer oh, yeah. that it gets. Um, but there's Jesse said and Lisa, Lisa, the giveaway queen over here was saying, why don't we do something every month? Because, you know, it's to keep people interested, to keep the word out at the forefront, right? You want to keep the drive alive. Some incentive. Yeah. Right. And, and, and y'all are the giveaway king and queen anyway. Well, I don't know about that, but we, yeah, we somebody loves to give stuff away. <laughs> Not <laughs> anything, you know. Um, <laughs> And their <laughs> initials are Lisa and Jesse. That's right. <laughs> so when do you, uh, first of all, uh, let's get the when. Okay. When do you do the monthly giveaways? The last Sunday of the last every Sunday month. Last Sunday of every month. Okay. Last Sunday of every month. Okay. And Jesse and Lisa, what are the categories? Because it started out. There were only going to be three prizes. Actually, it started out there was only going to be one. One prize. Right. Okay. And we're, we're looking and at all the stuff that's three. being donated, donated. And, and given away and, and offered. And we're saying, there's no way we can do. We'd have, like you said, we'd have a 10-hour live on October. So <laughs> why don't we spread out the, 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 the if you will, spread out the, the, the fun and the, the, the wealth and, yeah. and the love throughout the, the whole love. collaboration, which is through October. And we'll do it on a monthly basis. And uh, okay. so we decided we're going to need to give away so several categories. The first category being the the, the collaborator. So we want to we want to honor their efforts. The collaborators that, that submit videos. It's a lot of work. If you don't if you're not into YouTube, you don't do YouTube videos. It's a lot of work, especially if you edit. If you don't edit, yeah. it's not that much work other than to say you know. Yeah. So so we want to honor that. Then we said you know what. There's going to be a lot of people that come and visit the Vineyard Chicks and watch their videos or lazy days ahead and watch their videos. Why don't we honor and, and respect them as well? Because it, it takes time for people to watch your video, right? Right. So right. We said, Let's have a comment picker. So we'll, if somebody leaves a comment, they may get picked to win a prize. Uh, and then obviously you're going to have your Sunday, if you will, your Sunday live, live stream for the survival seeds. And there's going to be people in the chat. So let's, give them something as well for taking time to come visit on Sundays. Cause it's a lot of work to do these lives, you know, and a lot of, and a lot of sacrifice to be able to 
you know, spend time with us or with the Vineyard Chicks in, in Bushcraft on Sundays. And uh, so we want to honor that as well. So we, we have three categories, but we give away several hashtags, several comment pickers, and then also we do the collaborator. So there's probably and then video of the month. And then, oh, I mean, we started a new one because people are updating their videos. We had one person put seven videos in one month. <laughs> hey, let's, let's create a category for that for video of the month. So oh now they God. have a chance to win four different. You can win in one night. You can win four times. That's yeah. insane. At least, <laughs> at least four times. And if we give a bunch of hashtags, you may win five, six, seven times. And, and it's, it's not out of the, um, realm of possibility trust me and okay so and this is on what channel and this is this is monthly this is the last sunday of every month and girls what channel is this on these giveaways or the the survival seeds 2024 chat that we're specifically talking about the monthly those ones are every week at uh, vineyard chicks homestead vineyard chicks homestead Okay, and it is six o'clock my time. Six p.m. Eastern. Yes, yeah. six p.m. Eastern. Central. Yeah, it's six and time. <laughs> six and time. Yeah, six I'm just. Time. I'm not gonna say anybody else's time anymore today. I'm just worry about your time. We'll time. we'll figure it out. That's yeah. right. That's right. Okay, so and every week, for one thing, if you want to learn more and more about gardening whether there's prizes or there's not your guests have been awesome on we've Sunday. had some really yeah. cool guests like you um <laughs> we had miss lisa um, and mr jesse and we've had a ton of people who have just had some really awesome things to teach and that we can learn from and all of them like focus on a very specific aspect of gardening yeah. this past oh. sunday is a good example is, is the first time they had uh, the bull's the, garden. The, the, yeah, the, the channel was full of bull, but it was <laughs> the, the bull's garden. Man. I mean, the bull's garden. That, He's that's so awesome. I love that. Guy. He's awesome. <laughs> so. He is so awesome. Okay, but no, they, have, so, they have a good guest every every yes. Sunday, so come listen. You never know what and you're going to hear. About, and at the time, you also have made commercials for all the products and the companies that are sponsoring this collaboration, not monetarily, but um, with product, yep. which is what we want. Anyway, we want the product. So, right. you know, that's great. And nice little jingles for it. it, which is so cool. I mean, Thank I was you. watching, I was going, that's amazing. Yep. No, wait, that's amazing. No, 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 wait, wait. That so, that that's amazing. Let, let me say yeah. this. Let me say this to the people in the chat. These jingles that they put out on these products, they're not given to them by the companies. That's all vineyard chicks. Vineyard yeah. chicks do all the music and all the jingles for these products that they've been showcasing. And I I can't thank them enough because I mean that, who does that? <laughs> who I'm does you, that? Girls right, right here. That way. Or that way. <laughs> Yeah. It, is, yeah. it is nuts. It's just nuts. And of how the talent just doesn't stop. It's uh, exactly. you girls are just absolutely amazing. So and Thank I you. appreciate that because it helps me when I'm reaching out to other sponsors on your behalf to say, hey, you need to check out these jingles that these girls are making. I mean, they're doing some really cool things for your products and it makes <laughs> them feel better as well. So. Um, I just am tickled to pieces. I mean, if it wasn't for the jingles, I wouldn't remember even half of them. Like, Le Pot, Le Pot. Da, 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 <laughs> it gets da, da, stuck da. in my head. I mean, head. It, it gets stuck in your head. Le yeah. Pot. Le... Yeah. That, that company <laughs> ought to be calling these girls saying, hey, we want to, we want to, we want to sign you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Devil Dog Prepper, we know you are different than the other Devil Dog, but I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> so, um, Okay, Nanny Tam says, I really want to be a part of this, but I'm just not able. Waiting on knee replacements. Until then, uh -huh. the vending, the bending, weeding, and care is pretty much impossible to do. Totally get it. Mm -hmm. Totally understand. Um, I have the same type of thing as far as arthritis and things. And if I didn't have my husband, Worthdale, poor thing, as I'm cracking the whip on him. <laughs> Just kidding. Trust me, there ain't no whip cracking going on here. Then, uh, but he helps me tremendously with anything 
anything that's going on. And so I totally get that. But Nanny Tam, if you have some herbs that you might want to drop in a little pot, mm -hmm. like yesterday I dropped seeds of chives in a, in a little bit of a bigger pot. I just I got some dirt from the yard and put in the pot and drop some chive seeds and it grows up like grass. And so, you know, that is still participating. It is still participating. So um, it, it's, it's all in how you want to do it. Let's see. And Grape Jam says you can always comment on all the videos. You can still win, but we love you for kindness and always supporting the community. And that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And growing herbs in a window. Those mm -hmm. are easy to do. And Lisa, you have some things that you are growing inside your home as well. We're all sort of dabbling in those hydroponics. But you got started from Mike's Chaotic Gardener, right? Or right. Gardening? Yes. Yes. And I've got lettuce overgrowing. I need to cut them and make a salad out of them. I've got like four different ones and they're like this big already. In the hydroponics. It, uh, it's getting so big, Miss Ann. I was walking through the kitchen the other day and I heard in the background. <laughs> I, I mean, I swear I heard Tarzan swinging through the tree. I'm serious. I, I always think of the, the movie. Feed me. <laughs> <laughs> and also, too, I wanted to show y'all something because it's an update. This thing is, you can just about watch it grow. I had, uh, and this is something you can do too, Nanny Tam. This is a mushroom kit, and it's for lion's mane. All you have to do is set it on your table. I put it in this bag because it didn't seem to be going really all that great to begin with. Now, I've never grown lion's mane before, and the picture looks a lot different than what I got. So I hope I'm just not growing <laughs> fungus, but even though mushrooms are fungus. It's supposed to look like this eventually, but it's coming out looking like that. And it's only been a week. Whoa. It's only been a week. And it is lion's mane mushroom, which um, supposedly, you have to say that on the internet, supposedly, it helps with brain power and all kinds of cool things. Let's see. Maybe we can make me big. How do we make me big? Jesse. I'll get you. Thank you. It looks like cauliflower. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It looks like cauliflower. And it's it's kind of it's kind of it's it's uh -huh. sort of a like a mushroom texture, which is pretty cool. Okay. I don't want to be big anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> all I have to do, I, it comes with its own spray bottle. I just leave it on the counter and then you have to spritz it. And when I harvest this, when I take this off, this comes, it, it comes in a bag. I can pull it out of the box, turn it around, and start another harvest on the other side of the bag. Aww. That's the coolest. Oh, cool. Isn't that neat? And, I mean, there are people that, you know, being self-sustainable, you can't order from Amazon all the time. But once you get these seeds and things... There is a possibility of propagating them out in your yard. You can plant this whole this whole thing out in your yard or on an old log or tree or something. And you know, an old well, I've got like a tree stump out in my herb garden. And so that's pretty cool. But so you know, we can all be I need brain power, big big grow, big TV six left fine after a lot of hot cells. I get that. I get that. But there's lots of ways of participating in the community, even if it's, there's no rules to this, right? I mean, is that right? Am I right? That's right. There's no rules. Well, then, yeah. If you get the there's seeds. Some, there's some guidelines. Just, no rules. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, get the seeds, we just want an entry video and an exit video, basically. Right. And All it can be as little. No rules. I, there you go. And girls, you were telling me, or well, when you speak, I feel like you're talking directly to me. Um, and you were telling everyone, hey, vision preparedness. I'm glad to see you here. He does a wonderful example of 
uh, self-sustaining lifestyle and uh, emergency preparing. It just a fabulous, fabulous channel. He's mover and shaker, new channel, fairly new channel, but mover and shaker. And Jesse put that up. But um, what you were saying is you wanted this to be for everyone. People that just have a window seal, people that just have a patio or a porch. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. Anyone, we wanted to make it so that anyone could join, whether you've been gardening your whole life or you're just starting gardening this year. We wanted it to be accessible for anyone. And it's also if anyone it could be living in an apartment and you've got a little windowsill or if you've got a full-fledged garden growing in your backyard that's over 100 yards big. Oh, right. Just a- how big is your garden? I just want to know because oh. if anybody that gets a whole ton of food, girls, how big is your garden? 100. I forgot the. It's not a square. I, I forgot the dimensions. It doesn't matter. It's okay. It's, it's, it's big it's enough big. to produce two thousand pounds worth of produce each year. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh my God! Yeah, I'm, I'm, does it matter how big it is? If you can produce two thousand pounds of produce, it really doesn't matter okay. if, it's a, if it's a square block or you know three hundred yards. That's a okay, lot so, of produce. So ours is a hundred by fifty feet. Okay. And a lot of the produce that we collect is from the apple orchard, the grapevines, and from meat and eggs and, we and also stuff have like that. that. Area that we're going to be planting lazy days wheat. Right. Plus lazy days wheat is that's that's another part. So the bunkie's garden itself is only a hundred by fifty, but there are other areas throughout only. the entire farm where we're growing <laughs> stuff. Sure. Yeah, only on everybody. Only I know. <laughs> that's big. That's huge. That's a farm, honey. That's it. Yep. In my world, in my retired, I don't want to work that hard world. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, girls, it is 1156, and I'm going to have to start closing some things down, but I wanted to give a couple of things away. If you'll stay with us, yeah, yeah that sure. would be great. I wanted to give a couple of things away, and Jesse and Lisa are helping me with that. I have... Um, F.R. Humphrey, which is Miss Felicia, has made me some scrubbies and she gave them for me to give away. So these are handmade scrubbies that are wonderful. And um, unfortunately, it's going to be. Yeah, I think it has to be for the lower 48. Is that right, Jesse and Lisa? I think so. Yes. Yeah. I think so. Um, Unless you have a U.S. post office box. Unless you have a, yeah. Are you uh, somewhere U.S. post office or right. a p- postal serve um, address? A service. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So where we can get something. Plus, I'm going to be giving away in honor of your six seeds that you girls have picked. Six bags. These are bags that I purchased. That um, you can. I always knew Miss Ann was a bag lady. I am a bag lady, baby. Everything I got's in a bag somewhere or another, or I'm baggy. I don't know. But anyway, these are little bags that you can put over the blooms, even if you have your plants that you want to save the seeds right in the middle of your garden. As your blooms come up, you can put these bags over like a cluster of tomato blooms. Oh. Yeah, keeps the bugs off of them. Well, it keeps it from being cross-pollinated is what happens. And so you close it up and the cluster of the, because tomato plants especially have their own way of being able to fertilize each other. So you have a cluster of blooms before they open. You put this over there. Once once it produces fruit, hey, she'll go. We talked during your whole piano lesson. Welcome back, Bunky. (laughs) Once it produces fruit, then you take the bag off and mark that branch with a ribbon so that you know that these are absolute true heirloom seeds. And you know that when you harvest, you can eat the whole rest of the bush. But these particular tomatoes you save for seeds. So, um, Excellent idea. Yeah, those are neat. Yeah. So I'm going to be giving away six of the bigger bags because this would be for squash blooms or something. And you do have to hand pollinate squash blooms. And these are for smaller things. So that and the scrubby. And then Lisa and Jesse, you mm-hmm. know, can't be outdone. And they've decided to give what? 
What right. have you decided to give away? One of your shirts off of your merch store. <laughs> An Andrew Homestead shirt. <laughs> Isn't that the coolest thing? So anybody that wins, please email me at andalehomestead at gmail.com. I'm going to put a banner up here. Or Jesse usually already beats me to it. Uh, yes. Here we go. Okay. And, um, and what we're going to do is have a hashtag. So everybody, oh gosh, I don't have comments anymore. Wait a minute. Here we no. go. Put in the hashtag. What hashtag are we going to use? You're going to win two scrubbies, six little bags, six bigger bags, and a t-shirt for Andale Homestead. The land of plenty. I think How about we go with joyful noise and notes? Yay! Yay! For joyful noise and notes. That's great. Hashtag. Can yeah. <laughs> we just... um. We, uh, we also want to give yeah. away some teas and a teaspoon. Oh, my gracious, honey. Oh, so this, yeah. is, the, this is the tea, that the hibiscus and elderberry. Yep. Yeah, raspberry, oh. hibiscus, grape leaf tea. Do you put, make, make them big, Jesse, please. As a separate, okay. and to the same one or as a separate yeah. gift? It's up to Miss Ann. Well, let's just do it all. We'll just have... One person that gets it from everybody. How's that? Oh, wow. <laughs> One super lucky person. Nice. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yay. Yeah. Okay. So we have the little tea thingy and then two tins of tea. So hashtag joyful noise and notes. 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 I want to say yeah. this every time. Joyful noise and notes. And they have a new song out that is downloadable, and it's called My what Salvation the, Song. My Salvation Song. And, and it, it tells the story of our very good friend, Mr. Charles, at Bushcraft Family. Good. And it's a, it's a beautiful story. Mm -hmm. and, and he sent you his story. Somebody wrote a melody. Who wrote the melody? Oh, I hear a ding, ding, ding. So oh. <laughs> Okay, is that we used to have an alarm clock like that? Do you have to go somewhere? You? No, it's just it's just the clock, and it's gonna ding oh. twelve times because it's new. Oh, Sorry. okay. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to. It's twelve oh two. I gotta get out of here. Y'all gotta get out of here. I'm used to thirty minute lives. We got, we got thirty seven entries. Okay, I think I'm going to count down. If anyone wants to put in time for church, Deborah Rusignolo says. And, oh, Nanny Tam must have run over and listened to your song because she said it is a beautiful, beautiful it, song. It is. We heard it. Yes, it's very good. Good. Gosh, all right. And Grammy's Journal is listening in. And two-minute delay on my end. Okay, okay. All we right. got 40. We're up to 40 now. Okay. And we got 53 in the chat in the YouTube. All right. Okay, that's awesome. Yep. 69 looks like all together. Y'all hit that like button now, please. So we have two scrubbies, 12 bags, a t-shirt. <laughs> you can get something from everybody. A t-shirt from uh Lazy Days. Their tea. And a diffuser. There's seven tea bags in each, and then the diffuser. And the oh, it's so awesome. All right. Let's count down from five, okay? Because people are still, I still see them typing. And if it's a two-minute delay, you know. All right. So five, four, three, two, one, and draw. Let's see what we have. Who wants it? Who gets it? Let's see what it's going to land on me. Give it away now. Oh, gosh, I want this one. Alyssa Wright. Congratulations. Well, congratulations. Alyssa. Now, Alyssa, I want you to email me, andalehomestead at gmail.com, and let me know what your mailing address is, how we can get in touch with you. And I will share that information with your permission to Lazy Days Ahead and to Vineyard Chicks Homestead and um, joyful noise 
and notes also the same channel. So thank you, Alyssa yeah, Wright. Also, also, if she could go on to your Anda Homestead merch page and pick out her size t-shirt and color and then send that information also. Okay, that'd be great. Now let me we'll write it away real quick. Um, and Alyssa, if your name on your email is anything other than Alyssa Wright, please let me know because, you know, sometimes we have people that um, might not be completely honest and they will email and say, I won, I won, but it's a total random person that doesn't have anything there. Here we go. So there's the shirts and he goes from small to 5X and there's like five different, six different colors. So she'll go in there and pick, pick one of the shirts that she that she's interested in and let him say no. We can, we can get that. Yay. Okay. Well, girls and Jesse and Lisa, let's um, wrap things up here. And Bunky, all I can see is your poor little eyeball. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, girls for being here. Thank you, Trey. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Bunky. Um, as Scott from Ramblin' with the Brooms have uh, nicknamed you the Chickadees. Chickadees, yep. I appreciate you being here so much. Thank you very Thank you much. Thank you for having us. We appreciate you inviting us on here. And you really are a great inspiration and, and a great role model to all three of us. And ah! We really appreciate you. Thank you are honored to be here. Bobby, my heart just, oh, it just poofed up. Thank you so, so much. Jesse and Lisa, you, I mean, to the rescue, man, you guys are awesome, wonderful, wonderful friends, along with, I need you and love you. And thank you for being here. Thank you. Well, the feeling is mutual. Yes. <laughs> Yay. All right, guys, I'm going to let y'all pop down in the basement. Hang on for just a second down there. And then I'm going to say my goodbyes to be able to um, close out our Tuesday, Tuesday. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm sorry I wasn't able to chat with too many people in the chat today, but we had a lot going on, right? A lot of information, which is a ton of fun. So on Tuesdays, <clears throat> we choose our attitude of the day because you can whether you believe it or not the only thing that we can control is our attitude not somebody else's not somebody else's deeds but how we respond and how we react to them so today i'm going to choose on concentrating of having a joyful noise in my thoughts a joyful time that when anything else begins to appear, I can remind myself, pull out those tools and remember joyful noise. All right, guys, remember the Lord says, I know the plans I have for you, say the Lord. They're plans for good and not to harm you. They're plans for hope and a future. Love you all. Thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it so much. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye now. Oh, look out for a whole bunch of videos from the Soil Family Expo this weekend at Savannah, Georgia. Love y'all. <laughs>